Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Forzathon guide called Off-Road Revolution which wants you to own and drive the 1986 Hoonigan Ford RS200 Evolution to complete all of the challenges with. This is the car in question, set you back half a million credits or of course you can win one in a wheel spin or pick one up from the auction house. I've created a tune for you guys to use, it's called All Round S2, share code is 183-841-909 and this should hopefully make the challenges go a bit quicker. Now the first challenge here wants you to earn 3 stars at the La Subida speed zone in your RS200. Now this is the speed zone in question, so 3 stars on here is 115 mile an hour. Now what I'm going to show you is how to get 3 stars coming from both directions of the speed trap. So first of all we're starting here from the north. Now as you can see I'm starting on the main road to get a bit of a run up. In all fairness you don't actually need a massive run up using this car, especially with this tune, but it always helps to get a good amount of speed starting off into your speed zone. So as you saw there I entered it just over 100 mile an hour and it's a fairly straightforward one. Obviously at higher speeds some of these bends can get a little bit ahead of you so you do have to be careful and use dabber brakes every now and again but as you saw there I think I finished with about 129 mile an hour which is of course smashing the speed trap three star target. Now what I'm about to do is do it from the other direction which I didn't think I would be more successful at but it actually was and it's actually easier from this direction because those tougher bends you'll take them at a lower speed because obviously that will be more the beginning of the speed zone and you'll end up at a higher speed at the end there which is really really easy so again smash a three star target and got another PB which I was quite surprised about to be honest. <laughs> Now the next challenge here wants you to bank 100,000 skill points in the RS200 which again is very easy to do. Now I would recommend buying out some of these skill perks, they are very useful. Some of them extend the skill chain time. There's a very good one at the top there which brings your multiplier up to 7 which is definitely very useful. And I'd definitely buy that second life perk as well. I also decided just to hang around in the same area as before and lo and behold after doing that speed zone challenge I ended up already at the target score it's 20,000 multiplied by 6 and as you saw there the second life perk helped me out as I smashed that rock but this area is really good even if you're not at that target score at the sort of end of your speed trap there's loads of things to smash loads of jumps so it's super easy to do there. Now the final challenge wants you to earn 6 stars at danger signs, so I decided to head over to the hotel danger sign, so 3 stars on here is 450 feet. You don't need an especially massive run up, you can start at the hill directly opposite the danger sign there, but again with this car you're pretty much guaranteed 3 stars every time, so you'll only need to do the jump twice. Now of course there are other jumps that you can do this quite easily using this car, but this has one of the lowest 3 star target scores and it's very very easy to achieve. Like I said if you start your run up from that hill area you're bound to smash it every time regardless of if you've got a tuned rs200 or not anyway that was this week's forzathon guide it was a very very easy one hopefully it's not going to be bugged similar to the last week's one but if you are experiencing any issues then of course please do let me know down below in the comments but apart from that folks i hope this did help you out if it did and you're new to the channel i'd appreciate if you could subscribe and smashing that like button also massively helps me out but apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.